I have a question here, and I'll just keep the person anonymous because I think this relates to a lot of you who are watching this. Uh, this person says that th they don't feel their natural strength is to show up on social media because they are introverted, they are intense, and not everyone's cup of tea. And th I'm sure there are additional factors that they didn't tell me about. One other thing they said is, I'm not suited for self-promotion. And so not suited for self-promotion, introverted, intense, not everyone's cup of tea. And therefore, I'm not good for social media because that's not my natural strength is, is quite interesting to me because what this suggests is that social media strength must mean a certain thing, which is extroverted. And hi, everybody. I love being here on video. And I'm so glad to be able to share with you today myself and my greatness. Ready? Let me tell you about my greatness and why you should buy from me. Ready? All right, let's get going. All right. So is that social media? That's certainly not authentic to me. And, and so here's what social media is. It is media that is liked by some social circles. This is important. There is not one social media algorithm there is not one social media preference of what content is. Otherwise, every single video, every single article would sound and look exactly the same. Obviously, that's not true. There is like a different flavor of social media for every different type of person in the world. You see, some people like extroverted, you know, some people like to see people dancing on social media, you know, with the words popping up, I always make fun of that. Because I am not a dancer, even though you would really disagree with me because you know how, how smooth I was just, you know, just now. But that's not me. What do I do on social media? I'm intense. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I don't want to be. In fact, if, if I am everyone's cup of tea, then I have failed as a marketer. I have failed as a communicator because then I am something to everybody, but not anything interesting to my ideal people. To be interesting, meaningful for your ideal audience necessarily means you are not everyone's cup of tea. Because if you are everyone's cup of tea, you are bland. Because think about it, everyone's cup of tea? What, what is that? Is that English breakfast? Is that yerba mate? What, who, what's everyone's cup of tea? <laughs> Some people don't even like tea, okay? Same thing with social media. You cannot be everyone's cup of tea. In fact, what you're trying to be is to make some people spit their tea out, okay? If you can do that, you're more successful on social media than the person who's a nice, yeah, it's okay. So being intense, being introverted, some people are, I mean, well, I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is a very, Susan Cain, you know, quiet, you know, the, the introverted movement, right? Strangely, that's very popular online, <laughs> okay? Everyone wants to talk about it, right? I mean, that's probably old school. I don't know what the, the latest introverted superstar is these days. But we see what I mean. Like there are some people who, who are really into really weird hobbies or really weird ways of showing up. I mean, one, one, one example that people always find funny, but maybe now it's more mainstream is, what's it called, ASMR? right? Um, ASMR is, is people who watch videos and listen to podcasts where people are brushing up um, some product and they're brushing it. They're brushing. It's like, hi, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to my ASMR channel. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's, it's the weirdest thing, but then people find tremendous joy listening to people rustling paper or doing certain things that have certain like sound qualities that will annoy the heck out of probably the most the, the mainstream population, but the light the heck out of this this segment of the of, of the of the audience that pay for the stuff that loved, and of course most of you haven't haven't even heard of it. That's just one of a million niches online. Oh, and by niches I don't just mean topics, but ways of people showing up. I'm sure there are ways there are people who love videos where it's completely black backgrounds. <laughs> this is not usual for me because it's nighttime and I'm using a light anyway. So this is, this is what I wanted to make sure 
you understand is whatever is your cup of tea is also the cup of tea of probably a hundred thousand people on the internet. And I'm being conservative. Why? Do you know how many people are online? Five billion internet users. Five billion with a B. So if, okay, you're not everyone's cup of tea. Let's round up um, a thousand of the random internet users on, on, on the planet. A thousand random internet users. How many of those thousand people, random people, might be your cup of tea? That you might be their cup of tea? Ten? One? One out of a thousand random internet user might see you as their cup of tea? That's pretty conservative. Okay, that's a lot of different, all walks of life, all ages, all interests. One of the thousand might. Okay, so if one of a thousand, let's do the numbers here. 5 billion internet users. Okay, let's divide that by 10. That's 500 million. Do the math with me here. And then divide by, because we got to divide by three, right? You know, a thousand has three zeros, right? Stay with me here. 5 billion internet users, 500 million. That's one, one tenth less. 50 million, that's two. Uh, that's a hundred times less. 5 million, that's a thousand times less. In other words, if, if you were the cup of tea of one out of a thousand internet users of all walks of life gathered together, then you would be five million people's cup of tea. Let's go even more conservative. It's like, George, I'm not sure. Maybe even one out of a thousand isn't right. Okay, fine. Let's pick one out of a thousand random internet users who are more likely to see you as their cup of tea. And let's put a hundred of them in the room that people... And it's like, what if I could only relate to one of those hundred who are already more inclined towards you? One of a hundred. So let's divide it by a hundred. So 5 million, 500,000, 50,000 people. That's one out of a hundred people who are likely to like you, which, which is only one out of a thousand random internet users. That's 50,000 people who are probably like passionate about you. You are absolutely their cup of tea. And you say, George, I'm even weirder than that. Fine, fine, fine. 5,000. Could you use 5,000 clients? You couldn't even handle 500 clients, let alone 5,000 clients. So you can be as weird, whatever you want to call it, weird, yourself as you want to be, and you still have 50,000 passionate fans. So the question is not, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. No, no, no. The question is, did you even reach that one of one out of 1,000 yet? No, you haven't because you probably haven't run Facebook ads or Instagram ads or you haven't done it the way that I teach how to do it and done it consistently enough to actually reach. You haven't done the market, you know, audience testing that I teach in that course, all that. You haven't done the work of actually reaching any one of your 50,000 passionate fans. That's why you've got maybe a, Maybe you've you've got some lukewarm fans who are like, they're not part of your 50,000. Maybe they're part of your 5 million. You see what I mean? They're part of your 5 million. But to get to our 50,000, like raving fans who would probably be your stalker if, you know, if they had some psychological issues, but just healthy, normal, mental, more or less mentally healthy, passionate fans, they're out there. You and I both have at least 50,000 of them out there. Or if you're really, really weird, you have at least 5,000. That's, that's, being, that's being way too conservative. At least 5,000 people who would like go to the ends of the earth for you. Literally, if you're having a retreat in Australia, they will go to the ends of the earth for you to pay the 5,000, pay the 10,000 to go to your retreat in Australia, in Iceland, in what the, 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 you, you name it. So no, of course you're not everyone's cup of tea. And I'm glad, I'm glad. The question is, are you going to show up with your cup of tea enough with enough distribution, for example, social media ads or enough collaborations or enough search engine optimization, enough stage two content? Are you going to show up enough to reach your 50,000? And your 50,000 is not going to be the first 50,000 who follow you. Probably not. But within the first 50,000 who follow you, there might be 500 or 50 who are part of your true 50,000 or your true 5,000. Question is, are you going to go and go and find them? Are you going to allow them to find you? 
Because if you don't, they will forever feel like something is missing from their experience here on earth that they came for. Because one of their soulmates who promised to play this game of hide and seek incarnated into this earth at the time of the internet, say, well, let's play this hide and seek game where I'm going to express my energy signature. I'm going to practice expressing it until I'm really strong in it. And, and by, when I'm really strong in it, you will hear from me. You didn't practice enough to be really strong in it. And so you never reached that soulmate audience member. It's up to you. Will you do it? I hope so. Because I'm doing my darn best here not to be everyone's cup of tea either. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing your comments below.